So what's the biggest lesson you've learned so far on the trip? Slow and steady wins the race. Is that a um, to pack more food. In case. Oh, you have to uh, pull through and then not, uh, not give up. Persevere. Um, it might seem hard, but you can do it and it's going to be fun. If you keep stopping, you'll never get there. You have to give it 100% to make it up the mountain. Um, it's really fun to do it yourself, but it's even more fun to help others. Uh, don't just stick with your friends. I learned that whatever I set my mind to, I can do it. Um, well, I learned that there isn't room for giving up, that you have to persevere even though maybe you don't want to keep going, that you just have to keep going and it will get better. Uh, I learned that you can't give up on the bike trips. And it's really fun, even though it can be hard at the beginning. You feel good when you finish it. Um, I learned how to overcome fears and challenges. <laughs> I learned that, like, as challenging as the hill is, you'll always be able to get up to the top. I've learned that there are so many helpful people to just get you up that hill. I learned how to be like how to take care of myself and how to do things by myself without my parents. I've learned that middle school trips are not a walk in the park. Oh, I learned how to approach a challenge. That smiling makes people feel better. I've learned that there are no bad rides or good rides. The ride's only what you make of it. Um, I think I've learned that like anyone can really help anyone. So a student can help a teacher. It doesn't matter who you are. It's kind of all the same. I have a new appreciation for the sixth graders. Yeah. Um, how to go up hills without getting off and walking for the rest of the way. Uh, too many things to name them all. Leadership. Yeah, cool. Got you. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I'm hoping Amy will so. I learned to always give 100%. <laughs> I have learned patience. I learned that you can walk up the hill and it's okay. Um, I have learned to become a member of a true community and to accept silence. Santa Barbara Middle School taught me how to be independent in myself. That biking is hard but rewarding. Uh, I learned how to be patient and uh, encourage pe other people to be patient. Um, how to act as a community. I have learned to carpe the deal. Santa Barbara Middle School has taught me to persist and to take care of myself. I learned that you don't have to be related by blood to be a family. Middle school has taught me that not everything's easy, but it can be really fun. Things are only as hard as you make them. Uh, I've learned perseverance and patience. That I can do a lot more than I thought I could if I really try. I've learned how powerful encouragement and believing in yourself is. So far, middle school has taught me that I can do anything as long as I put my mind to it. Uh, just how strong the community is, it's really, I feel at home now, just in three days. So. Yeah. There's no shortage of beauty in this world, nor that of people to appreciate it. The shortage that we suffer from, however, is a shortage of mindsets that allow us to push through the difficulties to get to the beauties. Two, three. Why stop if it's not the top? <laughs>